right, today we're doing a walkthrough of my flowering trees that I have going on here. On the south side I have lilacs. You can see some buds on them. And here's a volunteer plum tree that's in with them. And another. And another. And there's one of my hens. I think that's darkness. She's the darkest colored one. There's some more lilacs. Tons of lilacs all blooming, smelling great. And over here, these are Montmorency cherry trees. Got two of them right here, and then another row of them down here. Over here is my peach tree I planted last year. Looks like it's flowering too, so I might get some peaches this year. And over here, we have the actual plum trees that were planted. Got a row of them going down to there. And these are more of the Montmorency cherry trees. That plum tree is pretty much dead. I'm probably going to take that one out and replace it, but I'll wait until fall for that. And down this way, we have one that I planted recently. Just got to get to it. Alright, here's one I planted a couple weeks ago now, I think. It's a dappling willow. So once it gets established, it's going to have white blooms that it has during the spring. And then over next to that is my flowering crab apple. It looks like it's already starting to turn red like it's supposed to. And that will fade into like a pinkish color. It's pretty neat. Alright, now on to my windbreak that I planted. There's my peonies. They're all coming up. These I all just planted this year, probably between a month and a probably a month and a half ago. I've got eight of them, four here, four on the other side of that tree. That's going to be my southern windbreak. Looks like all my dandelions are coming up too. I'm hoping this year that I'll be able to get into the bee business also, but we'll see about that. And these are all Norway spruce trees. They tend to grow pretty fast, so I like them. Here in a bit, I'll show you ones that I planted last year and how much bigger they are than these. When I bought them, they were this big, so right around two foot mark. Oh, there's some more lilacs. Those ones smelled really good too. And there's this little path right here between the two lilacs. I've got some on my west side and I've got some on my south side. Oh, there's all my chickens. And there's a whole nother row of these all the way down the west side. Here's the two Norway spruce I planted last year. This one's coming up on five feet now, so it grew three feet last year. That's what I like about the Norway spruce, is they grow really fast. It's already a pretty good sized one. It's only been there a year. And this one, it was planted at the same time. It was a little smaller when I planted it too, but it's definitely the smaller of the two. This one's probably only around four feet, maybe a little past. Not as full as that other one either, but it's coming along pretty good. And I also planted two Black Hills spruce. There's one way down there. I'm not going to walk down there though. And there's another one on the other side between those two trees. But that's it for the trees. Till next time.